Glory be to God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, who continues to fight the battle of victory for us. All too soon we have entered into another weekend. The day, the days go by just like that. Adia chin, na adia sa, na adia chin, na adia sa. O yi ko, na o yi ba, ko shen suru fem ho. O mbi sa, ya yan sa na, ya ko. Eh, tomi bi ya yin yan nan ko yi aka haka kra. Nan so, o yi ko, no yi ba, ebi wo, ebi ware, ebi nye juma, ebi pon juma, ebi nini, ebi bon kwa kra, ebi bon mbere wa. En kwa la yi nini, ebi nye juma fufro, ebi sre, ebi sun, ebi kwa efro, ebi kwe yi. Ni nyine emu no, e urade ne hene. E ne urade ma ubi biya ube sre. E ne e urade ma ubi biya ube sre. In the name of Jesus, e urade ma ubi biya sre wako. May God grant you something. To smile. And may that smile gravitate into laughter. A great testimony of laughter to the glory of God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Revelation 12 9 and the drag the great dragon was thrown down that ancient serpent who is called the devil satan the deceiver of the whole world he was thrown down to the earth and his angels were thrown down with him and that is why there is too much evil on the earth because and the Bible described him, he said, he, 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 he is the ancient old serpent, the one who defeated Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. He has, he has not stopped working. He is looking for every least opportunity to destroy you by the fire of the Holy Ghost that stands in the gap with you together in the Holy Spirit and the power of the mighty God. And we block his activities in the name of Jesus Christ. Abakite in the name of Jesus Christ. We block the activities, the activities of Satan and his cohorts. In Jesus' name. Amen. But through Jesus Christ, salvation has come to us. The verse 10 says, And I heard a loud voice in heaven saying, Now the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and authority of Christ have come. For the accuser of the brethren has been thrown down, who accuses them, them day and night before God. The accuser of the brethren. He accuses through people. Any false accusation against you will mute the mouth of the accuser by fire, by tender. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray by the authority in the name of Jesus. For the Bible says, at the mention of the name Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And so we mute the mouth of the accusers, the accusers, the accusers, spiritual, physical, emotional, psychological, marital, financial accusers and destroyers. We permit them not to act again in the name of Jesus Christ. Of Nazareth. Also, so I shall who see ye no more in our home. Yes, I shall who see ye no more in our home. And they have conquered him. Here, the verse 11, the verse 11 of Revelation chapter 12, a very powerful text. Said, and they have conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and their word of testimony. May you have a testimony that will conquer the enemy. And by the blood of the Lamb, you have already conquered. The blood that was shed on Calvary Cross. The Bible says that when the blood fell on the ground, the ground, the ground, the earth could not withstand the power of the blood. And there was earthquake. And those who had died in the Lord rose back again and came back to life. A very miraculous moment. The power of the blood. The blood speaks of better things. The blood of Jesus. And then me bomb pay us in Sobi a wound on Nani Yesu Christo Mojam fire saying with a woo. In Sobi a wound on Nani Yesu Christo Mojam Mawa Hodin Sonko. As you drink water today, may it turn into the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth by power by fire. A baki he katu katos a handi he kasu anda yaba in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The verse 12 therefore rejoice, O heavens, rejoice, and you who dwell in them. Rejoice. Once you belong to the heavens, you will rejoice. But those who don't belong to the kingdom, yes, Bible says, they woe unto them 
woe unto them woe unto them they cannot face the wrath of god and you can also not face the wrath of god so remain for the lord and remain in the lord forever and ever in the verse 13 through to the end let me just read and when the dragon saw that he had been thrown down to the earth he pursued the woman who had given birth to the male child so satan will pursue the world but jesus will give us victory if satan pursues you jesus will give you victory anything that is pursuing you may jesus grant you victory in jesus name but the woman was given two rings of the great angel so that she might fly from the serpent into the wilderness so the lord will give you wings to fly from every attack of the enemy certain poured water the serpent poured water like a river of the out of his mouth after the woman to sweep her away with a flood but the earth oh my god but the earth came to the help of the woman and the opinion the kingdom of god will come to your aid, your, your help okay the kingdom of god will come to your aid and help the woman and the earth open its mouth and swallowed the river that the dragon had poured out from his mouth then the dragon became furious with the woman hey they can become furious with you satan can become furious with you but the love of god i am da 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 abounds for you forever and the dragon became furious with the woman and went off to make war on the rest of the offsprings on those who keep the commandment of god and hold to the testimony of jesus and he stood on the sand of the sea so the dragon is coming after the people of god and coming after the world that is why there are so many wicked